Hey, good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. You have all my friends on JTV because my other friends don't like me. Anyway, we have a beer. We have this beer right here. We have from the Church Key Brewing Company in Campbell Ford, Ontario, which is near Peterborough. Petersboro. Anyway, this is the Church Key Brewing Company's West Coast Pale Ale. So, a West Coast Pale Ale, normally a pale ale I kind of like and I'm somewhat scared of at the same time. I mean, there's a lot of West Coast IPAs or APAs that are too hoppy for me personally and aren't balanced very well, and there are some delectable, delicious, supremely amazing ones out there. Um, yeah, 5% alcohol by volume. Comes in a six pack. Had a little bit of smoke. Okay. Okay. Doesn't look terrible. I mean, see? It's a little bit of an amber color. A little nice off white head. It is a fun looking beer. It looks it looks good. Not nearly as dark as many pale ales in this uh style, but looks good. Smell. And it smells like a Molson export with a little bit of hops in it. A little bit of citrus fruit hop on the hops. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a Citra Hop, I wouldn't say it's a Summit Hop, I wouldn't say it's a Nelson Savine, I wouldn't say it's a Northern Gem, I wouldn't say it's any of them. I don't know what it is, but there's a little bit of Citrus. I wouldn't say it's Sriracha Ace either, because, I mean, why would we pay that much money on it? But, um... And a little bit of... of wood. So... Yeah. It... You know what? Here's the thing, okay? The Alexander Keith's one hop beers smell hoppier than this does. Just to put it into perspective, the Alexander Keith's one hops smell hoppier than this. But maybe it's refreshing. Maybe it's maybe it's a pub pub IPA for the average drinker. Let's try it. Cheers, cheers to you guys. I don't want to drink alone. It's my first beer since we've been online. So yippee. And I would rather drink the Alexander Keith one hop beers, um, the Cascade or the Haller Toyer. Um, this basically tastes like the Haller Toyer, but a um, little bit of a citrus fruit taste to it instead of just that weird uh, dulled down spiciness that you get from that noble hop. Um, but that's, that's really what this tastes like. Just one of the one hop beers. A little bit more resiny on the throat, but it's, there's nothing to it. If you're going to make a West Coast IPA, make it a West Coast IPA. If you're not going to make a West Coast IPA, just call it an IPA. You know what? Just make an IPA. Um... This would be a great pub beer. I can't take that away from it. It would be a great pub beer. It's a pub beer where you as a craft beer drinker could buy a pitcher of it and share it with your buddy that likes Alexander Keith's. He might make faces as he drinks it, but he could get through it. It's not It's not too hoppy for him. It has just the right amount of flavor to be a good pub beer, a good average pub beer, a good lowest common denominator pub beer. Um... This is another one of those breweries that seems to have been doing this lately, that have been dialing everything back to make it more appealing to the, to the, uh, drinking audience, to the masses, and I can't take that away from them. I mean, I can't, I can't say that they did a bad job, because if that's what they were going for, they, they hit the nail on the head, but it's not something I can get behind, really. Um, Hops and Robbers... 
from Double Trouble, the Hops and Robbers IPA, you went into that knowing what you were getting. You went into that knowing you were finding a craft brewery that was trying to get into the big beer market. Um, big Mouth from uh, Hop City, same thing. You went into that knowing that you were getting a pale ale that was meant to make it into bars. This is a small craft brewery that does very small batch. This isn't the way to go, personally, for me. Uh, I will give it a 6 out of 10 because I could drink it at a bar and something like that if somebody bought it for me. But other than that, I'll never pay money for it again. And I'm really I'm really kind of just disappointed with it. Um, no balls. No balls at all. That's, that's basically what it is. A no balls beer. So this was um, Church Key's West Coast Pale Ale. Yippee.